Michael, I don't think you have quite as much hair as Sonny does. <laughs> yeah, we cut his hair the other day, too, so it, it was a lot longer, but not that long. Um, I had always thought that I was going to cut my hair anyway because long hair, I you know, just gets in the way, and, you know, there's too much of it when you're combing it and brushing it anyway that falls out, and I always knew that it would just be a bad idea to have long hair up here getting caught in, in fans and just getting in everybody's way. So the idea to cut my hair uh, was as soon as I was assigned to this flight, I knew I was going to cut my hair. Um, but the reason I had it long when I first launched was I, uh, I sort of wanted a picture of what it would look like when you had really long hair in space. And so I did get my picture taken um, with the long hair. And I, I knew, I, like I said, I knew I was going to cut it off anyway. So we cut it off in the shuttle before I came here in the station to get the station off of here. Well, tell me about the donation. You've done a very generous thing in donating it to a charity that will benefit children. Was there a personal experience that prompted you to do this, or what gave you the idea? Um, well, I, I, I was inspired by uh, um, a friend of mine's daughter who did the same thing. Um, another lady that I work with at the NBL did the same thing. And I had heard their stories and thought, wow, that's a good idea. And I'm just happy that I'm healthy and have long hair. And able